Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth with 217 Creations, and I'm here today to share with you a quick little, well, kind of little in my opinion, but it's a decent size haul video. So I'm really excited to show you all the yummy stuff I got in the mail here over the last few days. Um, the first thing I got is um, LeBlanc stamps. These are some of my favorite stamps out there on the market today, uh, besides my the Pink by Design, because you know those are my true favorites. But LeBlanc is another fabulous company for stamps. They have, um, I know the stamp looks a little different than what you're probably used to seeing, but the LeBlanc stamps are actually mounted on foam, and then they have a silicone stamping surface, and it's white. Uh, but you get incredible detail, and these are heat resistant, so I can stamp into wax and UT and things like that. So I uh, love these stamps, so I've got this new one called, um, this one was called Kissing Lovers. I thought that was so pretty, all the detail. And then I got Country House. And then I also got this rose one, kind of a vintage looking rose one. I'm not sure of its name, but um, these are called LeBlanc. Um, it's L-A-B-L-A-N-C-H-E, LeBlanc. And um, usually I find these on eBay. It's a good place that I've been able to find a lot of the designs. And for inks, if you do choose to do this, go with the Versafine um, inks. They are the best ink for a really detailed stamp like this. So those are kind of fun. And ah, yay, <laughs> I got my Pink by Design order that I placed a few weeks ago. All the new stamps are in stock. So of course, I got all sorts of new ones to share with you. And then some of the older ones that I've been trying to catch up on from um, when I first kind of started using Pink by Design stamps, I missed out on a few. So I was able to kind of catch up this time. Uh, one of my favorites that I'm going to be playing with, of course, is the labels. I absolutely love this set. Um, Sarah, who designs the Pink by Design stamps, created this stamp set with a punch in mind, or your Cricut, or Sizzix, or Nesties, um, any of those tools will work. But I decided that I would take the easy route and go for a punch, because they were on sale at Joann's, and I had another 20% like, off on Memorial Day. So these labels you'll need a one and a half inch punch and i know um, paper tray ink i think sells a one and a half inch punch almost everybody sells a one and a half inch circle punch so i got these so those are always fun and then this is a new one for me um and a new one in general it's called animated greetings three and i haven't bought any of the animated greetings before so this one's a new style in a sense for me they're very very cute very boy in my opinion this one is um, it's things like wishing you a galactic birthday and howdy. Um, so uh, what I really thought this would be great for is some Toy Story stuff because, or some Pixar stuff because there's things like uh, toe of a kind, like toe, like tow truck. So I'm thinking Mater. So this is going to be a lot of fun um, to play with my boys. So love that. And then here's some classics from Pink by Design. These have been out for a while, but I've been wanting them forever. So I splurged and I got myself them. Um, this is the, um, it's listed as polka dot six, but to me it looks like olives. So I'm going to do kind of a martini themed card. I think it'll be really fun. I've got a great idea for using on that one. And then of course, who couldn't go wrong with polka dots? Polka dots are always in style. So those are going to be fun. And then these are new ones. This is the sewing background. Very excited to use this. I'm gonna try it on tissue paper. So I'm gonna see kind of how that looks, if I can create a really cool vintage look. And then we've got the postcard. This is new too. So I thought that'd be fun to play with. And then this one's called Girl Talk. And as most of you know, I'm on the Pink by Design design team and um, my co-design team member I'm um, scrapping with my bug she made a super cute card with this she colored in like all of these images and it was too cute basically she sold me on this background so even though I don't have girls this will go really cute with um, shopaholic and girls want to have fun and things like that from pink by design so love this one and of course the paisley love paisleys they're very in style right now so i've got some paisleys and i love that these are not too country looking paisleys they've got a little bit more kind of a floral on the edge so i really love this and then of course train station 
I have three boys, so I have to buy things that say trains or have trains on them. So we'll have fun with that too. My other fun things that showed up this week, finally, my order for my Cricut cartridges I've been having on order forever finally showed up. So I got, um, and of course I bought Imagine. I've gotten to the point where my regular Cricut cartridge collection is pretty sufficient. It takes a lot for me to have to have a regular Cricut cartridge, but Imagine, I use it all the time. And so for me, this is how I choose to spend my Cricut spending money right now is on Cricut Imagine. So um, I bought Heirloom, which is just awesome. I'm so excited because it's very masculine. Um, if you have not had a chance to look through these handbooks online, take your time to look through them. These are just fabulous prints. So um, I've got Heirloom, which is gonna be perfect for guy stuff. Vintage papers, which I'm really excited to get to use too. This one's fun. Bubble gum and stripe. Bubble gum stripes. Ah, I always want to put an and in there. Bubble gum stripes. Really bright, really cheerful, perfect for summer. And then of course vintage damask, because you know I'm a sucker for that vintage stuff. So I love those. And I've got yummy paper from October afternoon and some Bow Bunny too. Um, I went to Archivers and so this is some of the stuff I picked up there. Um, if you have not seen this new Rocket Age collection from October Afternoon, check it out. Absolutely awesome. So cute. You know what it takes for me to buy a sticker? A lot. But these are too flipping cute for me to pass up. So I uh, absolutely love this collection. It's called Rocket Age. And um, of course I bought two of each sheet. They were out of the set. So I'm going to kind of turn this around here so you can look at it upright. There we go. So they're double sided, but they're really awesome I and mean, just very retro. It's hard to see this one, but it's lots of little red dots. Love, love, love. So I thought those are lots of fun. Ooh, I must have got carried away. Got three of that one. And then this one's like the red dots with like a yellow background. And it's got this really cool like star map constellation thing going on. More constellation stuff. Love this side. So this is definitely going to be made into a mini album and then I should have enough left over to make a layout and maybe even some cards. So and then like a vintage newsprint. Isn't this collection divine? And this one has like, it's hard to see it, but it has like little punches. I know you're not going to, totally not going to be able to see it, but really, really cute. And then I think that's that duplicate. Yeah, and there's that one. And then, of course, I got the new Bow Bunny collection and perfect for Fourth of July and, you know, Memorial Day and Veterans Day or anything just to celebrate patriotism. These are just such fabulous papers. Um, just love them. When I know that I'm going to use a print a lot, especially if I know that I'm going to make a mini album, I buy two of each one because generally I use almost a whole sheet to make a page in a mini album. Then I like to have a little left over if I want to make a card or if I have a mistake. So I buy two of each sheet. Then I don't really have any guilt about cutting. Aren't those prints fabulous? And of course it's bow bunny, so it's like super high quality paper. Love this. Oh, I forgot to show you this. I know, more stickers. Could you believe it? I own a Cricut and tons of embossing folders and nesties and I still buy stickers but very rarely so uh, but these were just too cute my plan with these are to put them to peel them off and they're kind of thick on their own see but I'm gonna peel them put them on my own chipboard and then trim them out so they're gonna become a little bit more dimensional and then, then those will be used inside my mini album so I'm gonna take flat stickers and make them dimensional um, I'll probably use a little glossy accents on top of some of them maybe even some stickles and just really bring them to life so got those 
So as you can see, I'm going to be really, really busy with all sorts of fun stuff. And I hope that you liked my haul video. And if you have any questions, um, please email me or message me. And as always, I appreciate comments, subscribers, and followers. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.